this is the only thing making me happy right now. This uh, this wine inside a Newcastle beer glass. Yeah, that's right. That's how I roll, guys. The reason why I say that because there's people on my Twitter who are part of the movie world in the nerd world, the nerd community who uh <laughs> got to go to the Star Wars The Force Awakens world premiere tonight. Ah, it hurts. I probably should have tried, but I just didn't think I'm not not even close to being welcome to getting an invitation on that, but I guess I could have tried. But I, hey, I have tickets, really like ex- well, not yeah, pretty exclusive tickets, like assigned seating tickets on Friday at three o'clock. So hopefully, I'll have my review up for that movie um, Friday night. And uh, I've heard nothing but positive. People have been tweeting out that the lucky moviegoers that went to that premiere, um, they're not tweeting out spoilers, but they're just saying blew their balls. Blew their balls. What's happening, guys? Dave the Film Junkie here. Welcome to the After Video Show. I didn't do one last night. I haven't done one in a little bit. Man, it's been a little bit, huh, guys? So we got a lot of catching up to do. Basically, what I do with uh, this right here, it's not really a show. It's just me talking my webcam. More vlog status. But I talk about the videos I uploaded on my other channel, which you should subscribe to. Subscribe to this one. Subscribe to the other one. Just do it. It'll, it'll just make me happy if you do it. A lot of things happened this past couple freaking days. Jeez. I'm not going to go over everything. Well, I guess I should since the last time. I mean, there's been trailers galore, man. I tell you what. like, Let's see. What did we get last week? We got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 trailer. We got the X-Men Apocalypse trailer. Today we got the... Uh, and then we over the weekend on Sunday, surprisingly, we got the Independence Day Resurgence trailer. And then today we got the Star Trek Beyond trailer. Holy shit. Jeez. I mean, there was other stuff too I uploaded. Uh, yeah, I think that was started off with the x-men stuff i did my trailer reaction videos on those uh batman vs superman batmobile toy revealed by hot toys and there's also a tech manual coming out uh x-men apocalypse leaked image of sophie turner's gene gray showed up online which was pretty cool and then yeah sunday it was the weirdest thing like i was just chilling you know i was gonna do some online christmas shopping just kind of relax watch some football and all of a sudden like some like this one Twitter handle I follows follows says first Independence Day Resurgence trailers here. I'm like, what the fuck? Like I didn't even know. I heard little rumors that we might get it with Star Wars, but I was like, nah. There's already so many trailers coming out with Star Wars. It's ridiculous. But sure enough, bam, it came. And uh, I did first reaction. I still have my uh, initial review coming up, so I won't talk about that really and then of course we had an independence day resurgence viral site reveals the fate of will smith's character steve hiller there's something interesting about that because i'm wondering how awesome would it be and i would people would flip their shit and it'd be so great if somehow they made it work i don't think it's going to be the case but what if they're just kind of like throwing us off the scent and what if because it's like what 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 I found weird was like okay this viral site just goes okay this is what happened to Steve Hiller he died doing this so there you go no Will Smith but wouldn't it be awesome if like Will Smith like they did something so secretive that he did he was there that he just showed up that he's still alive how amazing would that be that people would flip their shit it's crazy God I don't know. Uh, and then we got Batman vs Superman production designer talks larger threat than Doomsday. Apparently, according to this guy, yeah, there's a little more. Which another video that I haven't that I I shot three videos last night in front of the camera in my little studio in front of the green screen that I'm getting up tomorrow because yeah, I just found out today that I'm not working tomorrow, which is cool. Okay, sweet. You know, in the field that I work in, sometimes when like the workload's light, they might be like, hey, stay home. We don't really have much work. So that's fine. I'm taking a day because I actually wanted to call off today because I didn't get that much sleep last night because I was working on these videos, uh, recording them and then starting the editing process. But the Batman vs. Superman video is pretty much unanswered questions that we still have for Batman vs. Superman because I'm still trying to bring those people back who think they were just so spoiled by that trailer. So I'm going to put that together. And I'll have that up tomorrow as well as my trailer review for Independence Day as well as X-Men Apocalypse. And then uh, Star Trek Beyond trailer screenshots leak online. Well, that, does, that, that post is irrelevant now. 
Um, and then we got Deadpool announces 12 days of Deadpool. <laughs> this the, the video, the promo video is hilarious. It's so funny. The way they're marketing this movie, like I, I just I, I love it. I freaking love it, man. It's it's great. And then of course, um, today the first treat that we got was Deadpool his crotch. Why not? Only Deadpool can have a movie poster that has a dick joke and show his crotch. And I want that belt too, by the way. It's so great. So, uh, and by the way, if you want to see all this, just first link down below, filmjunkie.com. And then I did my Star Trek Beyond trailer reaction. I'm not going to do a full on trailer review because it's a relatively short trailer and I kind of gave my two cents in. It felt a little too action y, a little too Justin Linney, I guess you could say, because Justin Lin is directing. I'm hoping there's more to it, but it's it looks like. There's going to be a lot of elements, a lot of the overtop elements that he brought to like Fast and Furious that are going to be in that movie. Um, but I guess we'll see. We didn't see any Idr Idris Elba, and he's supposed to be the uh, villain, so I'm still looking forward to that. Suicide Squad synopsis revealed, like the full-on one, I guess you say. We're going to get some Suicide Squad statues, and then they just kind of posted pretty much the synopsis, and there's some interesting stuff in there too, so go check that out, and then Zack Snyder, oh, we love you, um, before the, well, since the world premiere of Star Wars was happening tonight, he tweeted out some gifts that had Bruce Wayne staring at Darth Vader, and then Superman hovering above, and some X-Wings flying, so go check those out, it's freaking awesome, I love how Snyder is continuing the Batman vs. Superman and Star Wars mashup. They started that in the 2014 Comic-Con, and it was great. We were all loving it. They really didn't do it at this Comic-Con, which is kind of disappointing, but um, there wasn't really a Star Wars too much of a... Yeah, there was a Star Wars presence, but they didn't really, really do much, did they? Maybe they did, and I just forgot, because that was that was a rough time that, uh, during that when I was trying to keep up with the thing. I was having a rough time, so I don't, I, I'm don't. i like, it's eluding me, but there you go, guys. And like I said, I'll have some more videos up. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. I mean, let's see, what's today? Today's Monday, and I didn't have a video. Yeah, so um, weekend was good. Uh, did a lot of stuff. Um, went to a Christmas parade. Went to uh, a good, a dear friend of mine's birthday. And uh, what did I do Saturday night? <laughs> Friday night, I mean. Oh, man. I guess I had a good night if I can't remember it, right? I cannot for the life of me remember what I did Friday night. Oh yeah, I hung out with a, a, another friend right after work because he worked. Turns out he works like right around the corner from me, and we caught up because he, uh, he he was living up north for a couple of years, and then he came down and got a new job. So <coughs> got to hang out with him, so that was fun too. But uh, yeah, guys, I mean, oh, I'm so jealous about Star Wars right now. Uh, I gotta wait. It's just it's it's almost painful that we have to wait. <laughs> you know, a lot of. Uh, a guy that the James James Bricknell that I do the pod, that I do the random bootloop podcast with, which we're going to be recording a new one on Wednesday. Um, he's actually going to go see it Thursday night. Lucky, um, I could have went too, but I'm like, oh, I already got these tickets for Friday, so I'm going to see it Friday at three o'clock. Um, signed seating at the Chinese Theater, so that's going to be that's going to be cool. So I can't wait for that. And um, yeah, just wow, yeah. Um, <laughs> People are just positive feedback. There's going to be like crazy. All the big movies that are coming out next year, we're going to get trailers for it beforehand. So, I mean, I might as well just wear rubber pants. I mean, or just, fuck, I don't know. I'm going to be just, ha, huh, ha, huh, the whole time. Just be in a state of, ha, huh, you know, from the get-go. When the lights come down, it's just going to be nonstop nerdgasms going on. Oh, God. I'm sorry, my place is a little messy. Um but uh yeah man it's just it's gonna be intense it's gonna be great um i'll for sure try to get my review up i'll do a first reaction review too on this channel when i get out of the theater um and yeah man i just can't wait i'm sure i'm gonna see i don't know how many times i'm gonna see in the theaters because i'm going with my brother and his friend and my nephew uh the first time and then my mom wants to see it my girlfriend wants to see it everybody wants to see it so I, I'm sure I'm going to see it more than once in the theater, so I cannot wait. And then, uh, yeah, man, it's just, I'll probably do, uh, I'll for sure do a, a regular review and then a spoiler review too, which, you know, is, seems to be what we do on here, right? So can't wait for that. But, uh, yeah, I'm just so jealous, so jealous. Like, I just, it, it's, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Oh man, you can't wait to see the reviews that come flying in too. The embargo is apparently not uh, will be lifted on Wednesday, so Wednesday 
look at Rotten Tomatoes and then a lot of the sites will start um, uh, showing the reviews and stuff like that. I'm not, I don't think it's going to be just like 100% across the board. There's going to be some people out there that are, you know. But I mean, it's not like we're all going in there thinking like it's going to be a, you know, like a perfect movie. It's not going to be a memento. It's not going to be, a, you know, one of those kind of movies where you're just like, the whole movie, you're just like, like it just, you came out just like, whoa. It's just going to appeal to your, your childhood. It's going to show you shit that you haven't seen. And I'm sure it's going to have a lot. It's going to blow minds. But, you know, uh, I just can't wait, man. But, anyways, guys, so that's all I got to say about that. Um, I'll probably do an, uh, another video tomorrow, too, and stuff. So I'll be on the lookout for that. And yeah, it's definitely Star Wars week, and it's Deadpool week as well, I guess you could say. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, subscribe to the other channel, and um, yeah, man. Appreciate you guys watching. I'm Dave the Film Junkie. It's been the Film Junkie After Video Show. Appreciate you watching FilmJunkie.com right down there. Just click it. Just do it. It's a, it's a nice little site. I think it is at least. Okay, bye.